Hello, I'm the Budget Muddler and it's about bloody time I got back to doing some videos, isn't it? It's been a very, very busy six months in real life. Anywho, this is Groot. It's a resin cast sculpted by a fellow armourer by the name of Jay, who can be contacted at jb.miniatures at aol.com, which is on the screen right now and will also be in the description below. Remember, if you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel. Give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Now, we're off to the shed to hear from Steph. Well, thank you very much for that introduction, Steph. So here we are in the shed, and this is what we're doing. It is Groot. So, excuse me, Teddy. So, this is from uh, JB Miniatures, uh, fellow armourer, Jay. He has kindly sent me this, free of charge, to do on the channel and show you what we do. So, um, on unpacking it, this is what you get. So you get a picture of what it looks like. You can do your own uh, bit of research. So, as you open the box, you have JB initials on the box. And it's very, very nicely packed. So, upon opening the red paper, red paper, you are confronted with a sheet. So you can uh, weed all the letters out and then boom, spray, warning, dynamite on there. So, that bit. This is Groot. We'll come to that in a sec. First of all, we'll have a look at the dynamite. So let's move the box out of the way. Bob on, Bob on. So, listen to this one. That's a lot of resin. So, you have. Whoop, wrong way. Individual dynamite sticks. So, what we'll be doing, as you can see, is we'll be drilling holes in each of these and then we'll be twisting wire to make fuse effect so that's what we'll be doing on those so that is looking really really nice you can see all the paper marks on it and everything jay you've done a great job excuse my ding let me just turn my phone down didn't need that <clears throat> there we go that's in the silent mode so, we'll be, as I said, drilling holes and recreating the fuse in there. So that's what the, I can never remember the name. Yeah, it's one of those. So, we'll be doing that. I'm not sure whether I put all the letters on. No. Right, I will, uh, I will decide at a later date what I'm going to do with that lot. So, there we go. Jay, you've done a great job, mate absolutely stunning job on that right let's have a look at group so group comes in one big lump like that and then he has three smaller pieces so one two three so we've got a picture here so we can see how it goes so obviously that goes in there like so. Yep. Like that. Looking good. So, a bit of super glue and maybe a bit of filler. And that's that done. Um, how's that one look? Yep. Maybe a little bit of clean up on there. There's a little bit of clean up over the place, but nothing too serious. So, yeah looking really good that should go together very well so there we go groups made done sorted dusted no so that is what uh, we're going to be making shouldn't take too long should it right let's get on with uh sorting group group out so let's see where yeah so I am thinking 
Araldite. So I'm going to use this plastic bonder high strength structural adhesive. Done in 15 minutes and it's a tan colour. So let's get us a bit of uh, as we call in the Air Force, gash card. Use a bit of the box. There we go. I hate these things. I don't know why. No, I don't. Because it comes out quite nicely. Where are we? One of these, and let's give it a good old stir. Let's mix it all up. There we have the start of it. Well, let's get this Groot moving. Let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. So what I can do with that lot now is just take my matchstick and just ease it around. Take some off, pop it in different places. So yeah, it goes together really nicely. Well, considering it's only four parts, it's a uh, he's done a really good job. Really, really impressed with this. Love it, Jay. don't know whether you can see but we have a little really tiny it's the first one I found air bubble right on the end of his finger just there that is the only imperfection I have found so what I'm going to do And what we do to shape it is lick or dampen the end of your cocktail stick and then very very gently smooth it out there we go there's his finger all sorted <clears throat> right so it says 15 minutes and I am absolutely caked in this stuff so let's uh, leave that to set off drill time while Groot is drying let's get the dynamite sticks ready for painting I'm drilling holes in the bases to fit bamboo skewers in so I can paint them individually at this point it's up to you if you put, to get, put the dynamite bundle together, then paint them, or do as I'm doing here and painting them individually. So let's crack on and get them done.
there we have all the holes drilled, ready for the skewers. Next up, the bases need flattening. So I'm using a rotary sander to flatten off the ends. But remember, as this is resin, use a mask. There we have the bases flattened and smooth. Now to fit the skewers. I cut them to length and shoved them up them. There we have the skewers done. Now, most of you know I prime from a spray can. So here's Groot primed and given a zenithal highlight. From here, I'm gonna use Alclad's ALC024 RAF Desert Pink as a base color. So here we go with that. There we have that done. It gives a bit of tonal variation in there, not really a base coat, but just some tonal variation. Next up is Tamiya XF64 Red Brown. This is the base color. So let's get cracking with that. There we go, that is Groot done with his base colour. Nice light coat just to cover everything, leaving some of the variation kicking out. Next I'm going to do something similar on the Dynamite using Tamiya's XS64 just to give us some colour variation when we do the red. So here we go with that. There we go, that's the seven sticks of dynamite done so far. Next up, we have the red feather matchstick tip and the dynamite. I'm using Alclad's ALC651, that's RLM23 German Insignia Red. So we'll do the matchstick tip and then go straight on to doing the dynamite. Here we go.
There we go, that's a dynamite complete. But I forgot to film me gluing it together. You know how gunked up I got earlier doing group? Well, treble it. I was absolutely coated. It was a mare doing it. And I knackered up the paint job. I'm not happy, but hey, down to my local motor factors and grab a can of red spray paint to finish it off. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Here, I'm going to be dry brushing Groot in Tamiya XF57 Buff. So, let's crack on with that. There we have the dry brushing done. My technique for dry brushing is to use a large, soft brush, like a makeup brush, slightly dampen the brush. This allows for the easy release of the small amount of paint on the brush. And above all else, it doesn't leave a brush stroke. So, get rid of all the paint, and then do the do. Next up, we have the moss color. I'm using Dirty Downs Moss, talent in a bottle. So, let's get this cracked. There we have the moss done. I did a couple of layers, then I blended the streak marks in using normal water. Now for the eyes, I'm using Tamiya XF85 Rubber Black for these. And there we have the eyes painted black. And after the paint had dried, I put some white reflections in, just like this. There we have the reflections in the eyes done. Nice, easy job. Next up, time to paint roots on Groot. I'm using Vallejo 70.891 Intermediate Green for this. It looks a bit bright, but trust me, it will darken down once I put a wash on it. So here we go with that. There we have the roots done. Now, a second coat of Dirty Downs Moss. There we have the moss done. God, my camera work is shit at the moment. I really do need to improve it. Many apologies, folks. I'm really sorry. Anyway, next up is the wash. I'm doing a dark brown sepia wash, so let's get that cracked. Hopefully, well, I know, it will bring the tone of the roots down. There we go, that's the wash done. See, I told you it would darken down. Trust me, I'm a surgeon. Anyway, next up, we can mask the dynamite. 
See, I remembered the word. Get that ready for spraying. This is, to be honest, the only real con with a kit. The masks were cut too close together, so trimming them was a bit of a nervous job. But I've discussed this with Jay, and Jay is going to do what Jay wants to do. I've decided to, use, to only use dynamite from the masks, which read warning dynamite. So you can choose which masks you use. So let us crack on with this. There we have the dynamite masked ready for spraying. Guess what? Now we can spray it. We're going to use Tamiya's XF85 rubber black. So let's get this cracked. All sprayed up, now let's unmask it. Oh, that looks nice. Really happy with that. Very happy. Now to glaze Groot's eyes. I'm using UV resin with the UV torch to set it off. So here we go with that. It's all starting to come together now. Next up is attaching Groot to the dynamite. I decided to utilize the holes in his feet and use brass rod. This is how I did it. Now for some touch-ups. Here we go. There 
There we go, that's the touch-ups done. Next, figuring out where to put glue. Once I'd worked it out, I used the brass rods to mark the position, then drilled them out and glued them in, just like this. There we go, we have group placement sorted and the holes drilled. Now to make the fuses. We can take some water, add PVA to the mix and stir it. Ooh, that looks like something completely different. Anyway, mix it well. Once you've done that, soak the string in the mix and leave them to dry. There we have the fuses drying to one side. As you can see I initially put blue masking tape around the dynamite but I wasn't happy with that so I popped out got some black electrical tape and used that. There we have the tape changed over and boy does it look better. The fuses had now dried, I'd placed them over my heater in my shed to dry them off quicker, only took about 10 minutes. Next we're going to make the holes a little bit larger in the dynamite where the fuses go and then we're going to fit them. Now to trim the fuses and give them a black wash. Now to glue Groot into place using super glue. Just some wash on a fold of the dynamite and we can call this good. So there we have Groot stood in his dynamite waving a match around. I absolutely love it. This is a real mojo builder. Thank you so much for sending this to me Jay. You've helped to restore my mojo. Remember if you want to get in touch with Jay regarding this build email him at jb.miniatures at aol.com as you can see on screen now. I'll also leave a leave the email link in the description but 
I'll leave you with the rest of the glamour shots. Enjoy. I certainly did. There we go, one Groot finished. And again, a huge thanks to Jay for sending this. I'm looking forward to his next one. Remember, if you're at Small Scale World in Telford, Jay will be there. Go look him up. And remember, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.